All right, guys, welcome back to Come Again. This is our recommended viewing, uh, retro style. Yes, I'm just ahead. <laughs> so we got here Thundercats, we got Voltron, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, the original, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, the third Two. incarnation. Second. No, third. Second. What about that one from the early 90s? That wasn't Masters of the Universe, oh. that was the New Adventures. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. This would be. This is what's called fans refer to as the 2000X Masters of the Universe. We'll go over all these. Um, we got Silverhawks. Heavy. And Brave Star. All right. So, and I noticed that um, you have two filmations. By the way. Yeah. So uh, let's start off with Thundercats. It's been forever since I've watched Thundercats. Um, I bought this at Dollar General for like five bucks or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I still have yet to rewatch it. Um, now, well, with this box set here, they did four of them because mm -hmm. it's two seasons. They separated it. Uh, the third box has the uh, what's considered the Thundercats movie, Thundercats Go, which introduced the second gen of uh, Thundercats. Uh, which was Pumira, Linkso, and uh, I always forget the, uh, the little white tiger looking dude. Oh, uh, Panthro? No, 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 no. Uh, anyway, you know who I'm talking about. And of course, it introduced us a lot to a lot of new villains, like the Lunatics, for instance. So, uh, and it's worth noting that Thundercats. Uh, Silverhawks and was He-Man part no. of the same universe? No, no, no. Well, they weren't part of the same universe. They were done by the same company, though. Uh, Actually, they the were. Universe. It was they were well, part of the same universe. Well, in okay. the uh, in, in the remake Thundercats that the uh, Cartoon Network did uh, Dark a few years ago, Monstar. Um, was... They were going to they were going to introduce they they didn't they brought a cameo of Monstar, which was the Silverhawks villain. And, uh, and Tiger Sharks. They were going to integrate all those in the same universe, but the originals were not in the same universe. Okay. A lot of the same voice actors from Thundercats yeah. went over to Silverhawks, Tiger Sharks. So, uh -huh. um, but yeah, Thundercats, uh, it lasted two seasons. Um, I forget the exact amount of episodes, but it did an insane amount. And it was another episodes. one of those shows that, you know, it, it was episodic. It was episodic. It was, was standalone episodes, but they were also episodic. And it made a lot of its money from fig action figures. Yeah, and they had some pretty cool action figures, too. Um, I actually still have Lino and the Mail Away uh, Mumra. I used to have the uh, claw, claw, the cat's claw, and the, uh, the sword. sword. The play sword. Because yeah. it also came with, this was weird. it came with the belt, which was cool, because you can hang the claw there on the belt. But... For some stupid reason, they said, "Well, they really, really want to look like Lionel." So it also came with a uh, like a Lionel hair with a yeah. little, little plastic, little, little hard plastic band. It, yeah, I never <laughs> wanted that. But yeah, I, but the other thing is that sword broke really easily, mm. and I was always upset because I tried to stick the sword in the claw while I was wearing it, like Lionel did, and it was just the thing would stick out. But they did do a really cool looking sword, which lit up and made sound. So, and kind of like a soft blade on it too. But Thundercats, uh, Thundercats was their way of trying to capitalize on, on Master the League. 80s popular popularity of like Jago and Transformers, and it worked. And Lionel looked, resembled a lot like He-Man. In a way, in a way. Uh, there's been some fan fictions where Lionel and He-Man had crossed paths. And, uh, but you know, Thundercats was definitely really one of those very iconic, still to this day iconic, uh, series. I mean, you can go up to anybody and go, Thunder, 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 Thunder Cats. Cats, and somebody will yell out, Ho! Yeah. So, um, now, this is a show I don't really know a lot about. Voltron. Um, oh, there I'm were. Sorry, real quick, let me finish. <laughs> uh, with the box sets, though, um, these are pretty much out of print. Um, you can still find them online. There are um, three, three cases, I believe. There's two discs. Two discs. In each in each one, uh, there's four of these because uh, there's like I said, there's two seasons of separating two box sets. Um, mine actually has the hologram. Like I said, I bought mine when it came out. 
So uh, they're really cool, reminiscent. The show does kind of start to get, oh my God, by the second season when the new Thundercats get introduced. Um, but and when they also re released DC Comics under their Wildstorm imprint, released a sequel comic book series from the cartoon series. Like it and continues when right they, after. When they rebooted Thundercats, how much of that did they change? Because I don't they remember. They changed the point of day. I actually, I also have the, the, there were three volumes of one season of the new Thundercats. Uh, it was three volumes they released. Uh, they they didn't go to Third Earth. It was Thundera. They stayed on Thundera. Uh, we got the we got a, the background of Lionel. We got to see his father Claudius, who was voiced by the original Lionel. Um, they went into more detail as far as the war between them and like the Lizardmen, who were not called mutants. The Lizardmen, the Monkeyans. Legally use the term mutants. Well, they could still use the term mutants because mut mutants is a broad. Yeah. You can't refer to uh, mutants as far as Marvel Universe stuff mm. like that, but you know. Um, the characters um, of Sly, Monkeyan, and um, Jackalman all actually had names. They gave, she gave them names because Monkeyan was their race. Jackalman was their race. I think the only one that actually kept the name was Sly. Bomra was a lot more vicious, very more Egyptian. Mm. As uh, and like I said, I, I, I notate the comic book series. There's actually an origin for Mumra and how he became Mumra. He does date back to Egyptian time. To where we find out Third Earth is actually First Earth, which I think we find that out in the TV show, in the cartoon series. I've never actually finished the damn original cartoon series, by the way. Um, but I have read a lot of the Wildstorm sequel comic books that you know will spawn from the original show. Um, but the new series, uh, you get an introduction to uh, Pumira uh, from. The original series except she's not good she she pretends to be good but she ends up turning on him and mm. from umbra uh, we do see a glimpse of link so there's a lot of similarities uh from the original to the new one like you get the uh the robert burbles uh characters like that uh drill man or the driller driller i think his name was the driller it sounds like a porn star <laughs> Uh, so, you know, the, the original, the newer series was really, really cool. I loved it. Uh, very upset, along with so many other people that uh, the show got canceled. Unfortunately, the toys, not so good. The toys were not so good. They're, the black detail paint, uh, or, um, some of the articulation was, it was just simple. Yeah. No bendy. I mean, it was, they were, they, were, they were capitalizing on the recent trend of bringing back the vintage style articulation, mm -hmm. which works for so many. Like, I love it on the new Star Wars figures, but on figures like Thundercats, you need the articulation. Yeah. 